And today we're just going to talk casually about how to visually assess both your vines and your grapes to see if they're ready to pick and harvest for whatever use you're going to use them for. So the first thing you would look at as a vineyard disc or a vineyard person is the plant itself and especially the canes. So this is a cane and if you'll see, if you look closely, it's somewhat brown and lignified, meaning it's later in the season, the plant's ready to go dormant and become senescent. That's a good thing, the wood is mature. So then the berries are probably close to being mature as well. Up here we have a, a counterpoint to that maturity that you just noticed. And this is a lateral and you can see the wood on it is not wood yet. It's still green and quite flexible. So this is not mature. Just to show you the difference, okay? All right. So if we move back here, well looky here, I found some grapes. This is a bunch of grapes. This is Mission Grape. It's probably one of the oldest varieties grown in the state of New Mexico. It was probably brought here in the 1600s by the Spanish missionaries. One of the knocks on Mission as a wine grape is the lack of color in the juice. And even though these grapes are somewhat mature as far as sugar content goes, you can see that the color is still quite light. So if we want to see if these berries will make decent wine, we're going to look at the rachis. The first thing we'd look at is the rachis where it attaches to this cane and we would see, we would look to see if the rachis is mature this was not quite mature but that's okay let's let's go on the next thing we would look at is how easily or difficult it is just to remove the berries from the pedicels and if you look closely you can see that much of the 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 inner part of the pulp has been pulled off with that little section here called the brush okay now if it's hard to remove then that means it's less mature if you pull off a berry and you have a clean brush a clean removal that berry is probably closer to being ripe another little handy test you can do is just how deformable the berry is how plastic or elastic it is so if you just give it a slight squeeze without crushing it and it does not regain its shape like this one hasn't it means it's quite plastic it's going to stay deformed that would indicate also that it's somewhat mature so where's the good stuff that ends up in that bottle of wine do you think it's the pulp and the juice you'd be absolutely wrong because mostly that's just sugar water what you're interested in is the skins and the layer of cells in that berry just below the skin layer so one thing you can do to, to judge the maturity of that skin is simply to crush it between your fingers. If it doesn't maintain its integrity, in other words, you're able to break it up, and it gives up purple juice, you would say it's mature. Now, it's not giving up a lot of color here, but the berry skin itself is breaking up somewhat. So it's getting close. The next thing you would do, yep, taste the berries. And um, more importantly, look at the seeds. So there's some grape seeds, obviously. And if you look closely on the, on the bottom side of them, you'll see that they're still somewhat green. Okay, the next test is to go ahead and chew those seeds. Chew them up. A lot of the tannins that are contained in the seeds are essential to the wine's uh, structure. Okay, so to the seeds, and you'll notice some grippiness both on the sides of your palate, and then take your tongue and rub it across the top of your palate. If it somewhat catches, then those tannins aren't as mature as they could be. If it slides easily, they're closer to being mature. Okay, so it's a simple um, sensorial test you can do. All right, so we've looked at the maturity of the wood. We've looked at the berry rachis. We've looked at how hard or easy it is to remove the individual berries from the pedicels. We've looked at the skin integrity. We've judged the seed maturity. So all those things combined together should inform you on your picking or harvest decision. Thank you.